Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to replace the battery in a carbon monoxide detector just like this one right over here. This will be an easy tutorial with super easy instructions, so let's get right into this instructional video. As you can see, I'll be using this, uh, which is one of the carbon monoxide detectors that I have in my house. I have one, at least one on each floor, because I have one on the ground level uh, plugged in, and then I also have a battery operated one on the ceiling, which is a combo you know, carbon monoxide detector and smoke detector on each floor um, and in the bedrooms and stuff like that. So anyways, I have lots, because I, you know, safety is my number one priority. I have four young kids. I am all about safety. Anyways, with that being said, if your carbon monoxide detector looks different, you're going to look at the, the user manual. I'm going to show you how to do it with this one right here. It's probably going to be a very similar process, but you know, like I said, if you don't, if, if this doesn't look familiar to you, then always be sure to consult your, your owner's manual uh, to see exactly how to do it. So very, very easy. You're going to locate the battery compartment. Okay. Now this is, like I said, a plug-in one, um, but it has a backup battery on it. Like I said, I'm all about the safety. You're going to locate the battery compartment. And if there's a screw holding the battery compartment in place, you're going to unscrew that screw. You're going to loosen and remove that screw. If there's no screw, then you can skip this step. But if there's a screw, you're going to uh, remove... Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I <laughs> scared myself there. Sorry about that. I had a feeling that that was going to happen. Sorry about that. I do apologize. I pushed the test button. I just scared myself. Ooh, it's all good. Um, so essentially... I think that's it as far as the test goes. I, I scared myself there. Anyways, um, essentially, I pushed the test button. That's why that, that happened. Not a big deal, okay? So we're all good. Anyways, remove the screw. I'm going to continue. Um, I don't think I said, I, you know, thinking back to if I, like, I was a bit jumpy, but I think I just said, ooh, so I think I'm good to go. I'm, hopefully, I didn't say anything, you know, that, <laughs> that I shouldn't be saying, like, any bad words. Anyways, I know I didn't. I just said, ooh. We're good. So I'm going to undo this screw carefully. I had a feeling like that was going to happen. Okay, I removed the screw over here. Very, very simple and straightforward. And if you don't have a screw holding it in place, you can just you can just pull the battery compartment off. But now I'm going to pull the battery compartment off. Okay? Then it exposes the battery. What you're going to do is you're going to remove this battery. I'm not going to remove it because I don't want it to beep again, just in case it does if I'm, when I'm replacing the battery. But you're going to remove the old battery, okay? And you're going to replace it with a new battery. It's most likely going to use a nine volt like this. But you're going to replace it with a new battery and make sure the battery has been installed properly with regards to its orientation. So make sure it's oriented properly. That is a key factor there. Make sure it's oriented properly okay so install the battery the right way okay and make sure the battery is fresh and make sure you know because you're probably getting a low battery indicator or it's not working you want to make sure that your the low battery indicator is gone or that you know the battery is powering it properly and it's working properly once you know the battery is good to go then reinstall that battery cover plate like that and if it has a screw like this one over here you're going to go and reinstall that screw as well I'm just going to tighten that back up like this. I'm a little bit jittery because of that. Just, it kind of shocked me. Anyways, like, not, not, not electrical shock, but like, you know, like mental shock that, you know, I had a feeling like that was going to happen, but I was trying to avoid it. Anyways, um, tighten up that screw and you're good to go. You've now replaced the battery on your carbon monoxide detector. It's that simple, that easy to do. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this very simplistic tutorial. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe. Sorry, before I finish, I got to reiterate this once again. I, I, I'm cutting off, cutting off my outro there. If your carbon monoxide detector looks different or if you're unsure about the battery process, if this does not look familiar to you, then go and consult the owner's manual. You want to make sure you're doing this properly for, in terms of safety. So like I said, I, I got to say it again. You got to make sure you're doing this absolutely properly in terms of safety. So just consult your owner's manual if you are in doubt at all whatsoever. Okay, that is truly it. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.